Yeah, easier. <laughs> okay. Are we ready? Okay, I'm ready. Oh boy. Here we go again. I wish it was a little smoother. Yeah. You <laughs> better rubber bands or cardboard. <laughs> See you when you get there. Oh! Bumpier and bumpier, Howie. I, I gotta call see if I get a whole customer service. <laughs> this doesn't feel right. All right here we go. Oh, there it goes. Oh, hey, here we go. We're coming in. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh so hold on. I want. I gotta get a hold of customer service. This is just. Uh, I don't like this. This thing's just state I just. What's the number on these people? Is it a rubber band issue? <laughs> I don't know if it's a rubber band or a paper clip. I don't know what it is. I gotta find out from these people what's going on. Mm. Hello? Hello? That's I suppose me? I can't get a hold of them because we're not in the right time, time <laughs> zone. Right. <laughs> I mean, did we land in a place that still has a telephone? Where are we? Allie. Uh, let me take a look here. We are, um, April 10th, 1982. April 10th, 1982. I, I figure we were in the early 1980s with the jersey back here. Oh! The Miracle on Manchester. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, we, we, could, are, we could run into ourselves here. Now, you know, this could get scary. This is true. <laughs> I vowed to never step foot back in California, but I will take an exception to this one time. Okay, yeah, because this is the game. This is uh, uh, quite a historic game. I Probably the greatest NHL comeback game, playoff game, or regular season game of all time. Of all time. Yeah. Of all time. Yeah, I agree. So we are looking out the window here. Just outside the fabulous forum in Eaglewood, California. Oh boy, fabulous neighborhood too, I must say. Yeah. Are those, did this? Does this thing have locks on the door? I don't know. <laughs> I was just thinking that this thing might get stolen. <laughs> so I was going to be like, "Hey, that's a good-looking cardboard box." Yeah, like, yeah. Somebody <laughs> might go and live in it. <laughs> <laughs> so we are right outside the fabulous form in the parking lot, which is isn't Frank the safest Frank? place on earth. Is that Frank's car over there? That could be Frank's car. Like I say, we could <laughs> find ourselves right sitting in here. <laughs> we have to be careful. Well, let's go inside and check this All out. Right, I don't know how deep out. we're into the, into the game, but let's go check it out. All right, let's check it out. 
Well, the form, it's, it does feel good to be in the form again. Yes, it does. Even though the capacity is 16,005, little do they know they're 16,007 for today. Right. But they don't need to know that. No. So it looks like we're in here. It, it's, it's the first period. Yeah. So we still got things going. So nothing's really happened just yet. Well, it's, well, in the first period, the Oilers scored two goals. Yes, that they did. Mm. Those, they, yeah, Mark, Mark Messi and Wayne Gretzky. Right. Which gave well, them Gretzky has got the shorthander. Yeah, short, yeah, shorthander goal. Yeah. Late in the late late in the second period or late in the first, first period. period. Yeah, right at the end of the first period. Yeah. Then yeah. things got worse. Looks like things just got worse in the second period. Yeah. Three more goals by Edmonton. Another yep. shorthanded goal. Yep. Uh, it looks like Frank's getting up and leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Should we tell him to hold on? Yeah. Hey, hold yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't leave yet. Oh, I miss this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So yeah, by the end of the second period, it was already five nothing Edmonton. This is game game three of the series, best of five. Yeah. I, it. I mean, it. At this point, it just looked. It was done. Kings were done. Down five to nothing. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't look too too good, and and, and of course Gretzky was in his prime at this point. Well, yeah, I mean, Edmonton, what, at this point, they've only been in the league for, this is their third third season? Third season, uh, and at, at this point, Gretzky already has four points in the game. Yeah, it's only his <laughs> second period. Yeah, it's only the second period, and he's got his fourth point in the game. <laughs> oh. And how about those goalie masks? Look at Grant Fury. He's got I know, that. I love his goalie mask. A little, ooh. A little, ooh. <laughs> Mario, Mario is just like, uh, I wonder why they left him in as long as he did at this point. I, you know, that would be a good question. I don't know. Who, who was their backup back then? Uh, I don't know, but I do have, look, I have the media guide from that season right here. Well, look, who was the backup guy there? Look, look in there real quick and see who. Who the? Yeah, I turned right to the roster. Uh, well, Doug Keens. Okay. Uh, Doug Keens, Paul Peugeot, and Gary Bromley. But Dougie Keens, I think at the time, was the backup. Yeah. It could have been Peugeot, but I think it was Doug Keens that was actually on the bench. <laughs> For that game. There, there he is. There's Mario. Yeah, there he is. Yeah. And then there were the the color commentators. I don't know who it was at the time. Pete Weber. Bob Miller and Pete Weber, who's right. now currently uh, play by play for Nashville Predators. Yeah, look at how young he was there. Yeah, well, even Bob. Yeah, Bob looks pretty good there. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, things weren't looking good to, for the Kings at this point in the game. Uh, people were already leaving. And, boy, they didn't get their money, their money's worth after they had uh, left. Oh, I'm if sure they, those... Had they not. stayed, boy, they would have been... Oh, I'm sure those who did leave kicked oh. themselves in the ass for, for leaving. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. So the Kings go into the third period trailing five nothing. Yeah. And then two forty six into the third, Jay Wells got the Kings finally on the boards. Yeah. Give to give them a five one. Assisted by Dion and Murphy. Yeah. And then just a few minutes later, Dougie Smith scored on the power play, assisted by Mike Hardy and Jerry Corab. 
got an assist in that game. This is the second time we're seeing Jerry on our oh, trip. That's right. He was in our uh, game during the 1930s. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, that was just our last trip. Yeah, back at the 1975, we saw Jerry playing. He was a younger Jerry Corab. Now look at him. Yeah. He's still putting points on the board. Yeah. A few years later. And look who gets <laughs> the next goal. Charlie Simmer. Charlie Simmer gets that goal. This is by Dean Hopkins. The Kings are now trailing only 5-3. to three. Right. But still not looking good because now we're getting late in the game. Yeah, we're getting late now here. Mm -hmm. And then uh, at the 1559 mark of the third period, Mark Hardy put one in, assisted mm -hmm. by Bozek and Larry Murphy. Now the Kings are down like 5 4, trailing just by one goal. Yeah. And then finally, finally, as everyone figured out, we're done. Kings are done. Yeah. Game is over. 1955, five seconds left. Steve Bozek on the power play stuffed one in. Right, by right. Kirk and Marcel Barron. Right. And we're going to be going into overtime. Right. And wasn't it a, uh, it was a five minute major, wasn't it, on that power play? I, I mean, it was a dumb penalty that I was taken. So, yeah. I can't remember who it was. I'd have to look at it. Okay. We could probably just wait and see what happens. But, um, and then, yeah. So then in overtime, Howie, just 2.35 into the overtime, Daryl Evans puts in the game winner, assisted by Doug Smith, and man. Oh, the place is just crazy. Going nuts. And there you go, the, the, the greatest comeback of all time, I believe. The miracle on Manchester has happened. It's incredible. Incredible. And although, you know, the, I think the Kings um, went on, and they, they ended up winning this series, but then losing to Vancouver in the next round. Yes. That they did, and that was the first time I think I had ever heard uh, where the the uh, because they lost the series in Vancouver, I believe, where it got to the point where the entire crowd it was the first time I've heard it to where the crowd was chanting, uh, I don't know what that song is, but that sha na 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 na, hey hey goodbye. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That was the first time you heard that? Yeah, I think that was when it was first really used. Mm. At least in the NHL. Right. Well, uh, if we just move forward just a little bit, uh, the, the, the winner of the Stanley Cup this year was the New York Islanders. Yes, it was. Yeah. Which, you know, at that time, the Islanders were like uh, the dynasty team, I guess, right? At, at this point, weren't they? Or was it yeah. just the beginning of their dynasty? No, because next was Edmonton, right? What years was it that Edmonton was? Uh, I have to look. I can't I don't that. remember either. But I, I know that those two were right next to each other. Yeah, but for that season, though, yeah, the King, the King's road record for that, for that, uh, for this season, and it was eighty one, eighty two, mm. was just horrific. I mean, they they had a road record of five twenty six and nine. Oh lord, they were yeah. just horrible on the road. Yeah. Mm. But yes, but probably the greatest comeback. NHL game in history, though, for sure. Yeah. Do you know who won World Team Tennis that year? <laughs> no, but you know what? I thought of today. 
What? Because we're at the end of July. I th- we missed the season. What? Well, it's the end of July. Well, we do have a time machine, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I don't have control of where we go. <laughs> 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 I'm not feeling too good about that, Howie, because you know it's, you know, in just a little while we're gonna have to get back. Yeah, I know, because I gotta start my new job too. Right. <laughs> so yeah, that's not good. Yeah. I don't know if I could access futuristic things here on because the internet's like. Doesn't really exist, I don't think yet. <laughs> Let me see what I can pull up. So here's some other facts for 1982. You know, EA, EA Sports, EA Electronic Arts, they were founded in 1982. Really? Yeah. Some of the first video games came out in 1982. Like, in ni- like the worst video game ever created was E.T., you know, that's like the one right. that, was, that was made in 1982. Huh. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Michael Jackson's Thriller album was released on November 30th, 1982. And the cost of a Super Bowl ad in 1982 was $324,000. Oh. Oh. I hear an airplane. So they had airplanes here in 1982, because I hear one. Yes, they, they did. <laughs> they did have airplanes. <laughs> Is no, that, you know what? What? We may be able to get back in time. Because. Yes. What? The start of the season? Yeah. Is today. Is it really? Yes. What do you mean today? Last year, I remember it started the, the first week of July. You mean in in our real time, and or not? We're not in nineteen ninety two, but in nineteen or in two thousand sixteen. Two the the well the two thousand fifteen season started. I remember it seemed like it was the the first couple weeks of July. Yeah, but the two thousand sixteen season starts today. Today is April twentieth, April tenth, nineteen eighty two. Oh no! Well, starts <laughs> starts. If we were home, if we were home, it would be July thirty first. It starts right. I got you today. I'm getting skyped uh-huh. on 1982 from 2016. Right? Oh now. my gosh! You're kidding. No. Who is it? Lisa. My my ex wife. I'll have to call her back. Say totally. For sure. (laughs) But yeah, the season starts today. Wow. And the final... Maybe that's why she was calling to let you know that. Maybe. They stretched it out. The season actually goes three weeks now. What? And the season season ends on the 13th of August. Is that the same number of games, though? With the final being played on August 26th. Yeah, but that's just because somebody booked the rec center I, I, court. That's <laughs> what I'm thinking because they probably got, yeah, they probably got they, something going. Yeah, on. something, somebody double booked or something. <laughs> that's probably why they removed the season. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, so, I'm sorry, we got that served, court rented. <laughs> someone reserved the courts. <laughs> And now she's calling your phone. No, that was my oh. alarm clock. Oh. <laughs> if someone reserves the courts those first two weeks of July. <laughs> no, I'm not giving them up. <laughs> we have our Boy Scouts of America tournament going on. We 
<laughs> We're not giving up. Days up. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like so- something happened. Something must have happened in the last few months. Hmm. Because there are now only six teams. What? What? There's only six teams. I thought there were eight. eight. <laughs> There's six now. <laughs> So something happened. <laughs> hmm. Wasn't there eight teams, though? I thought, no, it was an odd number. I thought there was like, I want to say seven or nine. Hmm. What was it last? Let's see. Let's see if I can pull up. I wonder, you know what? I bet you they dropped teams because they probably couldn't uh, get court rentals. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we just can't. We can't afford to rent the courts. Yeah, <laughs> we we have to fold. <laughs> all right, so all right, I think we're gonna wrap it up here. We've got to try to get back home. We we don't want to miss any of the world team tennis. No, and um, we're gonna have to start getting caught up on uh, what's been going on in the NHL in our time. Yeah, we got, that's true. Let's let's get back home. We gotta we gotta go back. Yeah. So uh, hopefully let's this try. gets us home. All right, All right. buckle. All right. You ready? I think so. Oh boy. Uh oh, this doesn't feel right. No. Oh, that tape's coming off. Too. Oh crap! That's not good. Oh. And, and me that duct tape. <laughs>